This is a 1974 Corvette convertible. We're gonna take it for a quick drive. I submit it couldn't be a better day in Georgia to take a ride in the convertible. It's, it's 24 degrees out. Engine runs great. Transmission shifts flawlessly. Car steers perfectly straight. Of course, it has power steering and power disc brakes. Uh, it's nice, warm out. <laughs> Very cold today, but uh, wanted to get this up because uh, I have a feeling this might make a good Christmas gift for someone. Tachometer is working. Speedometer is not working. And uh, temperature gauge and all that is working. Uh, and it is super cold and I haven't had the car cranked up for very long. So we'll see if she wants to idle for us or not. I'm gonna pull up here to a spot without too many. All right, probably got her warmed up a little bit. Pop the hood. You hear the engine run. Nice throaty exhaust. Not too loud when you're driving as you could hear. Of course you might be hearing some wind noise. Really clean. This is an original matching numbers car. So it's the original 350. Even got the original uh, air cleaner on it and you can just hear how smooth it runs it's got air conditioning and the car's not perfect but it's also not twenty eight thousand dollars I was kind of looking through you know classiccars.com and pop this down some places kind of trying to get an idea so I've had a, actually had quite a few Corvettes Drop, drop that. Oh, I forgot to push the but I forgot to push it in here. So we gotta push that back in for that to close correctly. There we go. Always try to be make it a little easy with these nice long hoods. And uh, like I was saying, just taking a look at some comparables and seeing what other people have got out there and realizing a lot of people are, you know, asking uh, you know, asking 20, 25, 27,000 for their for their convertibles and they may be perfect this one's not but i'll tell you it's freaking really really sharp <laughs> so uh the original rally wheels um with beautiful uh original center caps in excellent condition wrapped in bf goodrich rubber and those are pretty much brand new tires i think they're a little bit older they were bought a couple of years ago but they don't have very many miles on them the car is uh freshly painted uh what's done about four months ago and they did a beautiful job this is not the you know twelve hundred dollar quickie paint job this is a this is about forty five hundred dollars um and they did a really fantastic job it's beautiful all the nooks and crannies are painted like they're supposed to be one thing i did notice popping open the doors and i'll show you in a second there's still some buffing compound and one thing i wish they really really wish they would have done they redid the upholstery too, so all the brand new interior interiors brand new. But there's a couple pieces of weather stripping that could still be stand to be replaced. <laughs> Doors open and close easily. Actually, the main weather stripping there's some the weather felts in here look, appear to be maybe the original ones that were reused when they redid the redid the upholstery. Um, the main thing is the door weather stripping here is old, and I would I would replace that. Not very expensive. And I wanted to go ahead and get the car up for sale, so I didn't order, you know, all of the the little things that I might have done. Actually, I say all of them. There was a, there wouldn't have been very many. So brand new seat covers, brand new carpet, beautiful carpet. Getting a little bit of leaves and stuff in here because it's fall. Dash cap is in great condition. So the AC actually does kick on and blow cold. The um, control here for the heat is actually feeling is a little stuck. You can now you'll notice this one right here turns just fine, so you can actually turn the heater on there. But this is the temperature control, and it's kind of well, actually it is moving. So feels a little stuck, and maybe just needs to have be popped off and adjusted a little bit. 
A couple of flaws, the only flaws I'm seeing in the paint, unfortunately, looks like when they were doing the, maybe the convertible top, a couple of little scrap, little tiny dings here where they got touched up. If you're being hyper picky. <laughs> Doors open and close nicely. Weathers are, our uh, windows aren't rattling or anything. Sometimes you open these, open and close these doors, the windows rattle real bad. These don't. So nice door panels with the wood grain. And they are original, so if you get up real close, you can see that was not repainted. Um, I mean, if you wanted to take some time to make the car perfect, these are the little things you could do. Of course, like I said, brand new seat cover, original steering wheel. Looks like it's actually got like a wrapper on it, so this, which looks really, really nice. Nice little leather wrapper. But underneath that, the steering wheel, of course, is old and, you know, kind of grainy looking. Interior looks great. It's got a brand new top, and uh, I want to take pictures of it in just a minute with the top down. So I'm not going to pop the top up for the video, but you can take a look at that in the still photography. Again, over here, same thing. This is the one piece of weather stripping that didn't get replaced. It looks like the window, window sills, seals, and felts are in pretty good shape. But that piece goes all the way around. There's a little tiny U piece shaped piece that you order here too. And honestly, it's not expensive. Um, not an expensive, not an expensive thing to do. I did get, and this is not uncommon. I've had many, many Corvettes, although this is my first convertible. And as I was buffing it out, I did get right up on it. And unfortunately this happens sometimes. There is a line if you get super, super close. You can't even see it from two feet away, but right up on it, eight inches away. There's a line right here as I run my hand across that's got some little checks in the paint. And I, those, I don't know that those could be wet sanded and buffed out. You can't see them. Um, I just, I'm trying to be hyper picky. I always want to just be as honest as I can. I feel like I want to try to be as honest as I can with a, with a vehicle. Another thing that I noticed too when I was just pulling out was, looks like the, uh, when the lights were being reinstalled after the paint, this little reverse light here got off a little bit and it's actually i probably honestly i probably could have just reached up in there and made it sit in there but you know some little things like that um trying to think if there was something else read the um read the, uh, the description because i feel like there was something else actually this tire looks like it's got a little bit of wrinkle on it i'm showing that the, the other tires actually that's interesting that's one tire look it's got some weather on it and the rest of them look new um it still has a spare tire holder in the back, which is really nice. Of course, the bodies are all fiberglass, so there's no rust there. Um, yep, there's a that's the reverse light, I think, hanging down right there. Because I checked the other lights, and they all work. Um, Rust-free frame. It's not, it's not show quality down here. It just looks like a normal car. But the frame is rust-free. Which is always a good thing and i've had a couple of guys in the past that kind of laugh about asking about rust on a corvette oh they're made out of fiberglass well they are but they have steel frames <laughs> and they can rust some of them do but this one is nice and rust free and looks real clean like i said there's no show car quality going on down here just this good old good old you know normal driver Oh, I know what else I remember, and I said uh, read about it because I did write. The ignition key is a little sticky. You might even catch it when you when I'm first start this video. You'll actually notice when I turn the key, I'm actually pulling it back just a hair. Notice that that ignition key was replaced probably and got a little sticky. So that'd be something else maybe to address if you wanted to. There's nothing that keeps the car from running, obviously. I'm just wanting to show those floor pans and rockers and the frame and everything under here is nice and clean and rust free. Yeah, this tire looks brand new. This tire looks brand new. There's two brand new tires. This tire looks brand new. Looks like the previous owner bought three brand new tires. And there's one old tire on here, so. Definitely wouldn't, I personally, I wouldn't hesitate to drive on that tire, but if you wanted it to be perfect, you know, I'd have to head on down to the tire shop and spend a, you know, 160 bucks on a on a, on one tire. I think that's a little bit unusual, but I've seen seen crazier things. Obviously, it's got power steering, power disc brakes. You know, the tops. If you've never owned one of these before, the top goes up and down manually. 
this top has been completely redone you'll see in the pictures it's brand new it's gorgeous white um, and of course all the mechanicals work great so it's you know it's actually very simple to, to take the top up and down I know one other thing of course I can't show you with the engine off because the lights run off a of vacuum it's not uncommon that these lights don't like to go up or they don't like to go down in this case the canisters are, are faulty in pushing the lights up like they should they'll go really really slow or sometimes you got to get out and help them they will drop down easily so they make a kit to fix that a couple different kinds you can switch them over to electric you can replace the vacuum canisters for about 125 dollars it's not an expensive fix but i've had a lot of corvettes and they almost all do that it's i think i've had one where the lights go up and down perfectly so i don't know why but people seem to leave that off the list of fixing things well there you have it um, with the way that the light is here um, it's not the most perfect lighting for the video um, just because of shadows and stuff like that. I do most of my videos in this cul-de-sac, but hopefully you can see how beautiful this paint job is. The interior looks awesome. Just a great, starts great, runs great, um, drives great, uh, stops good. Everything about it is a really fun. This is a beautiful driver quality Corvette convertible, and I think somebody's going to really enjoy it. And you can just tinker with a couple of little things here and there to finish it off, and you can take it to the next level very easily with a few minor things.